minute and 38 seconds. There's D gains and let us begin. We'll add a stream marker. Game start. Okay. And they're off. So you see Ground Mike immediately going for that that uh, 200 big blind buy-in. See, we got the 25 cent antes. One dollar, two dollar, and first hand on table two. We've got Jer coming out hard with a three bet to 18 against D gains, and the action is kicking off strong already. Ah, no worries, D gains. Only only about three minutes late. All good. Not the end of the world. Let's get that scoreboard out of here. And um, in a few minutes, we will go ahead and update our player stats. Everything's ready to go. And we'll see, excuse me, where everyone's at. World 3300 coming in. Uh, anybody that's in the stream is welcome to enter the raffle. It's a $5 raffle. You got about eight seconds left to get in. Hit that raffle command and see if you can't get this $5 again. This is a uh, little thank you to all of all of the viewers who have been jumping in and watching the stream, subscribing, and supporting Rounders After Dark. So appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Um, we've got a tweet out that you guys should do once we start doing our spin giveaways. And um, let's see. Yeah, we got our spin giveaways. Our spin's going on. I redid the wheel a little bit. So it's a little more symmetrical. And let's see. I think World might get this one. He might be the only entry. Let's see. World and no pas nada. World getting it. $5 going to World 330. And it pays to show up early, guys. All three of those $5 giveaways going out within the first uh, 20 minutes of the stream. So as, as always, make sure you guys show up early to the stream Make sure you guys follow and make sure that you have alerts turned on so that when we do start the stream, you get a notification on your phone. Make sure your beeper goes off. Have the fax machine send you a little something uh, so that you guys do not miss the stream. That is going to do it for the $5 giveaways. What we're going to kick off now is our standard. Ooh, we got a $78 pot on table one. We are going to go ahead and kick off our giveaways every 20 minutes spin the wheel giveaways these are tickets on rounder casino that you can win and uh d gains or sorry drewski betting 50 into d gains here on the turn And Drewski all in on the river. Oh, D gains with the sun run. Calling that king queen bluff. That is a big hand. Let's go ahead and clip that. Clipped it. Clip copied to clipboard. I don't know what that means, but all right. So we got a clip of that, that big bluff by Drew. Well, was it a bluff? Hold on. He had king queen here. I think it was. Yeah. So he had a he had a he had a uh, gut shot that he missed here on the uh, river. Made a nice big bluff and uh, obviously ran into D gains with the boat. Not much you can do there. Um, all right, guys. As you can see, we do have seats open on tables one and table two. Jer coming out with another heavy three bet against Stack of Jawea and the four bet from Drewski. These guys are not not messing around at all for uh, getting aggressive early tonight with three bets and four bets. And Jer is going to three bet fold that one. All right, so welcome to the stream, everyone. If you guys don't know about Rounders After Dark, go ahead and follow that link. You guys can check out the Rounders After Dark page. 
Make sure you are getting out there and uh, doing some sharing on Twitter. Spread the word. Make sure everybody knows about Rounders After Dark and the show and Rounder Casino. We do have a, uh, oh my goodness, look at this. The Big Dollar. I don't want to cover up too much action. The Big Dollar, $50 guaranteed for a $1 buy-in. It hits 7740. The big dollar hits 7740. Crushes the guarantee. Big dollar, $1.10 for a $50 guaranteed tournament. Nice, nice. Also have the $3 rebuy running. Guys, $3 rebuy. That one crushes it as well. $100 guarantee, $3.30 and it's up to $133. Registration just wrapping up on that. So if you guys are looking for tournaments, look no farther than uh, Rounder Casino. And make sure you guys go over and get into Violet's home game. There's only six, looks like only six players in the home game tonight. So only uh, four players left in Violet's home game. Get over to the home game. Get in there and get registered. It is a Omaha 456 home game. So get in there and uh, get busy. Let's check out the game list. See what we've got. Table two, everyone playing pretty tight. Table one, not much going on. <laughs> A lot of pre-flop action, holy cow. Make sure you guys are commenting on the Twitter post. Okay. Got a couple pots on both tables. All right, Jared three-handed on the river. Bets 12 into 35, 36. Drewski folds. And ground Mike makes a thin call. And Jared's got those pocket tens. Thin value bet on the river. $76 pot on table one. And stack a Jawea over bet all in. 130 effective here on the river. Drewski timing down. He is going to fold, and we are going to play our favorite game. Was he bluffing? And that is a stack of Jawea. We don't have a stack of Jawea one. So on table one, was he bluffing? Give you guys two minutes, start the prediction, and let me pull up the hand. Let's 
so that we can play a game of Was He Bluffing? Hey, world, easy on the caps. Just, uh, you know, just take it down a notch. All right, guys, so the way this works is you can make a bet on whether or not the player was bluffing using your uh, points. I think there's also a way you can use, um, you can, I don't know, but points I think is the basic way. And we can see what people think the answer is. $145 pot on the turn on table one. D gains up to 445 already. Don't know how that happened. Ground Mike bites, uh, bets 80 into 145. Interesting river card for sure. All right. 15 seconds left to get your predictions in on that hand. You got to really be paying attention. 180 on the river from ground mic. See what D Gaines is going to do here. This is a, uh, let's see. He folds. And that backdoor flush and the board pairing river comes in. All right, guys. But was he bluffing? Well, I'm just going to go right to the end of this hand. And show you guys the action here. And no. Stackajawea had top trips. And Drewski had second pair. He was not bluffing. Back to the live action, guys. <laughs> All right. Stack of Joia. Getting that overbed in there with trips. Yep. Yeah. Every time. I mean, yeah, just, just once per giveaway, but yeah, every giveaway you'll need to, uh, do that. And, um, yeah, subscribers get some extra tickets, but each time it does cost a couple of like, uh, your stream viewing points. Um, keep in mind, there's like two different point systems going on right now. Eventually we'll probably clean that up, but right now there's like the stream labs viewpoints and then there's like the Twitch points. Those are the ones you guys are like gambling with. Um, on the uh, predictions. So kind of just using both for now, do a little more research at some point and figure out how we want to, how we want to run things long term. But uh, for now, I think it's, I think it's good. And we do typically, I mean, the last time we had Hold'em, we had 11 different players sit down on the table so uh, there are a lot of Hold'em players that are willing to sit down at 200 No Limit and play. We'll have to see if and uh, if and when those players do sit down. But again, on um, on Monday, we had yeah we had 11 different players sit down. So really good turnout. Hopefully, we have a few more guest appearances tonight, and things 
continue to heat up. Uh, these guys do have a lot of history with each other at this point, so that's starting to make the games very interesting. A lot of bets and re-raises. Drewski making a big... It's about a uh, 5x, uh, 4x re-raise here on the turn. See if I can see it, Alex. Let me see here. Yeah, it looks like you uh, did a few, like uh, you did a retweet and you did some stuff, but you did not. Um you didn't leave a comment, so he's looking for your comment. That's what he's looking for. He wants to make sure that you did the retweet, the like, and the comment, so he, you're missing the comment. That's the tricky part. That is the tricky part, world. Hold on, let me double. Yeah, hold on. Is the <laughs> let me just make sure you guys have the right the right link, the right tweet link. All right, we got a hundred and six dollar pot here. So just to be clear, Jer takes down a big pot there. Just to be, uh, let me check here. We might have the wrong link. This might not be your, this might not be your guys' fault. I might have the wrong link here. I might have the link to the old one. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. This, uh, I was, I was just checking. I was like, man, nobody's, uh, nobody's really doing anything on this, this tweet tonight, and that is because it is the wrong one. So, uh, check out this link. Try that link. That brings up the correct tweet. That's the one that needs a comment right there. Uh, go ahead and uh, get get to work on that. So my bad, my bad. We uh, we did have the we did have the wrong one in the link. I uh, I thought I saved it, but I guess not. All right, D. Gaines and Drewski heads up here on table two. And as always, if you guys really want to see a hand replay with the cards face up, just go ahead and, um, you know, highlight a comment or tag me or get my attention. Let me know which table it is and let me know who raked in the pot and that'll help me pull that up and we can watch a replay with whole cards face up and get that live action replay that is so unique to Rounders After Dark. We can 
wonder what players had and then immediately pull up the replay and check it out and analyze the hands um, which you know I know seeing all the whole cards face up is fun but I you know this is a different different um, you know this style does lend itself to some other kind of good features or, or you know nice um, benefits as a viewer we get to sort of guess what players have and then find out immediately and um, let's just kind of predict and you know, be surprised sometimes. Bit more of a learning experience this way, but as, as you guys know, the devs are working on getting us a sort of World Series of Poker style viewing um, viewing experience. Drewski takes that one down. All right. At uh, 9 o'clock, we will have been going for 30 minutes-ish, so I will go ahead and give a stats update. With the uh, five-handed table, it's pretty easy for players to hit the required the required hands. No real surprises there that everyone's in pretty good shape. $145 pot on table two, nine queen, six deuce, stack of Jawea and Jaruski going head to head. Jaruski goes all in against stack of Jawea. Oh, he makes the call. He has the redraw to the nut flush. And Drewski with that 3-5 flush takes it down. Nice hand, Drewski. Big pot. That was a 604. That's a three buy-in pot. Only 30 minutes in. A lot of action right away tonight on Rounders After Dark. This is episode 10 of the show. And I will get you guys a, a little stat update here. All right, and putting the scoreboard up, you guys can see that we have three of our five players qualifying right now for the VPIP action player bonus. That 35% uh, D gains just one point under. I'm sure he'll try to bring that up a little bit so he can qualify now that he knows where he's at. 
Ground mic right on the borderline at 25%. Five-handed. Come on, ground mic. You can do it. Only five players. Jer, for the first time ever, I think, up over that 35% uh, mark. Looking for that action player bonus and stack a Jawea. Playing a little conservative tonight at 38%. Drewski down from his normal 60% down to 54 We'll see if that changes. And uh, let's get that out of the way. All right. What do you guys think? Pick a, pick a winner here? All right. We got a uh, nice and a uh, little bit of a slow start tonight, everyone. Six players in the raffle. Let's pick a winner. Oh, 6-5. He hits the 5. 6-5 six, all in. First D gains with the ace-8, and the 6-5 gets there. No pass nada. Gets a spin. We'll get his spin going. See what he gets. And it's going to be... A $3.30 ticket going to no pass nada. Yeah, the battle cry got him. The battle cry got him. Get another giveaway going. All right. Giveaway running. Time to get after it. D gains, taking down a pot on table one. There is no delay, no delay, the cat's meow. We are on a no delay stream. We are watching the live action and we can watch the replay hands as well. Live action replay hands with whole cards face up. This is the Rounders After Dark show. Welcome, welcome. And Drewski taking down a big pot. Wow, how did Drewski get 800 in front of him? Holy, oh, no, I don't know, Howie. That hand was stack of Jawea. Big hand, big hand. All right, guys, make sure you guys are uh, getting the shares out to qualify. We had the wrong link there. Apologize. Make sure you are getting the action, getting the giveaway. If you buy in enough, you can get there. There you go. If you guys are curious about Rounders After Dark, how it works, all that, some info there. And I just had an idea. I'm going to add a delay command. All right. 
right, delay command is created. <laughs> well, he's uh if we look at the scoreboard here, he's actually okay on the uh preflop percentage. He is sitting at uh last we checked 38%. So, as long as he stays over 35%, he gets that uh a piece of that a piece of that action player bonus. And he rakes in that pot. All right. Seats open on both tables if anybody wants to jump in and play with the show players. These are open tables, open to the public. So if you want to get in there and get in on the action, you can. If you want to see a live action replay, as always, just let me know in the chat, get my attention, highlight a comment, tag me, whatever it takes. If you want to check out a specific hand in a replay, we do have that ability. And again, last, uh, last time we had a $1, $2 No Limit Hold'em game, we had 11 different players sit on the table. So... Uh, hopefully we will get some guest players popping in here and there and we will see how that goes. They usually do show up towards the end of the show. We are, uh, just at the beginning of the show, only been going just over 30 minutes. So we are going to be going all night until about 12, 15 and these tables will stay open all night. Stacks will get scary big by the end, especially since they're scary big already. Drewski, 16 into 41 on the river. And Stackajuia makes the fold. All right, just going to give a quick stat update. Make sure we get the warnings out here early. Ground Mike has fallen below the min VPIP.
Uh, what did I just do here? Oh, just broke something. Hold on. All right, we got a $68 pot on table two. D gains, checks. Drewski takes that down with a six. All right, just a quick stat update, and I will post this as well over in the Discord. Uh, but scoreboard, and you can see here that um, uh, because Ground Mike has fallen below that 25% VPIP, he's no longer qualified for the participation bonus. And you can see the participation bonus amount has gone up for those other players. And currently we have um, three players still splitting the action bonus. D gains a little low on that, uh, as well as uh, Ground Mike, obviously. And just as a reminder, under 20% at halftime will result in a removal from the table. So I will go ahead and post that over on the Discord as well. Okay. All right, $18 pot on table two. Drewski takes that down. Already up to four buy-ins. Deep stacked already. Twenty nine into fifty two ground Mike versus Drewski on Jack Queen Queen and we got Jer going up against Drewski on table one. Drewski makes the raise. And Jer is gonna let that one go. All right, guys, um, probably have another spin coming up soon. So we got spins all night long. In order to qualify for the spins, go ahead and click that link. Make sure you do a little uh, social media sharing so that we can spread the word about Rounders After Dark. Get in on the action. Oh, my... Uh
Sorry, I'm trying to figure out my uh, my uh, Twitch roll is not showing up. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Get ready. Okay. Now you guys are going to get a um Nice. You guys are going to get uh sub recognition now in No, that's not working. All right, sorry about that. Trying to trying to get this Twitch integration thing set up with the uh, Discord server. Mm hmm. All right, we should be should be good. All right, just try a quick restart. Oh, hold on. All right, there we go. Now we got the streaming thing. Sorry about that, guys. We are good to go. $75 pot going over to ground, Mike, there. And, uh, yeah, I apologize for that. It's uh, kind of tilting me that the uh, streaming was not showing up on the Discord server. So if you guys are interested, uh, there's a link to the Discord server under the stream. A lot of stuff goes on there. If you guys want to start try to get games going or if you're uh, – Looking to give uh, solid feedback on the poker room or uh, anything like that, the Discord server is the place to do that. So make sure you join. D gains. Oh my goodness. Kings versus Queens. And D gains is snap leaving the table. Woo. That one was brutal. Not much you can do there. Whew, that one hurt to watch. Nice hand, Jer. This is the first time I've seen Jer with a big stack. Hey. The community rocks. Very entertaining. Thank you, French77. Jer on fire. Appreciate that very much. We are trying to build a great community with a great show.
All right, raffle time. Just as a reminder, guys, these raffles go every 20 minutes. So far, they go every 20 minutes every show. And uh, being a subscriber does help you out a little. World 330, getting another wheel spin. Hopefully got that fo to get, get that all sorted out. Let's see what you get. Looks like a 110, 110 ticket going out to World. Get with support. Get that 110 ticket. Congrats. And let's get it going. $240 pot going over to stack of Jawea. Take a look at this. Pair of jacks up against the 10 9. Both players had some redraws plus a pair. All right. Jer and D Gaines going at it again. D Gaines takes down a nice pot. He's got almost 500 on table one. Getting back in there. Looking at a seat change on table two. Poor Katsu's getting in there. <laughs> Ticket added. Highlight message. So nobody misses it. <laughs> All right. Jer and Ground Mike going head to head. And just about coming up on an hour of game time. And oh no, two pair up against two pair, Ground Mike and Jer all in on that one. Let's go ahead and take a look on table one, big $400 pot. Actually, it might've been even more than that. That was a $400 pot and brutal turn here. Jer, nice, nice turn for ground Mike. And let's check this one out, guys. Live action replay time. If you guys ever want to see a live action replay, just let me know. And you can see here, ground Mike bets uh, out. Jer calls with second pair, hits two pair on the turn, raises the turn. Ground Mike makes the call. He checks. Jer goes all in 114. Ground Mike makes the call with two pair, and that's a $400 pot going over to Ground Mike. Back to the live action. And Ground Mike sitting with 750 on table one after that hand. Drewski and D Gaines getting into it here. A seven nine six three, and Drewski's gonna fold. You guys want to play? Was D Gaines bluffing? Let's do it. Was D Gaines bluffing? Uh, where is it? Do we have a D Gaines? Yeah, we don't have. We have a D. All right, you guys have one minute. Was D Gaines bluffing on that hand? I'm gonna pull it up.
All right. Seven seconds left to get your prediction in. Was D Gaines bluffing? Channel points on the line. Looks like everyone thinks he was bluffing. And was he bluffing? He was not. He had top pair, second kicker. And Drewski missed his open-ended straight draw. Not a bluff. <laughs> First prediction missed. Those will happen. You must have been confident. A lot of points were flying into that one. A lot of points were flying in. Two different voters. Let's see. What is this? I don't know how to get more details on these. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. $40 pot again. D. Gaines and Drewski. <laughs> Drewski thought he was bluffing. I mean, I, I suppose if he really thought he was, well, I guess you couldn't have called. King High would have been a bold call. MD Border, welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome. Rounders after dark, $1, $2, hold them with a 25 cent ante is up and running. Twenty seven now a fifty dollar pot, Jer and D Gaines going head to head again. $80 pot on table two, jack seven, jack ten, deuce. Jer 60 into 80. Action to D gains. He makes the call. And Jer has the trip jacks. <laughs> Crown Mike getting that V pip up there while also getting some stacks his way. We'll get an update for you guys in just a moment or two. So, if you guys have a question about a giveaway, just uh, tag Alex support or uh, DM Alex support on uh, Twitch.
All right. Uh oh, what's going on? We'll stream hiccup. All right, guys. Trying not to mention the giveaways too much, but we do have another spin on the wheel. Got nine minutes left to get in there. Make sure you uh, get that social media share out there. Where is it? Jer with that 440 raise, call, call. Call, call, call. Big multi-way pot coming up on table two. We have not seen nearly as many multi-way pots as we uh, did in the PLO. I think that's probably fairly common. Stack of Juwea makes a big re-raise. Jer overcalls. Drewski overcalls. going to be hard for these other guys to get away from it at this point. Ground Mike overcalls. And uh, <laughs> D Gaines lets it go. Throws it in the muck. Four-handed on the flop with a $138 pot. Nine jack queen with two diamonds out there on the flop. And Jer is going to bet 34 into 138. Into three players. We'll see what happens. Interesting spot for sure. Ground Mike is going to pass. Drewski's out of there. Ground Mike's out of there. Stack of Jawea, not so fast. 206 on the turn. Pot's getting pretty big. Let's see what happens here. This is the first time we've really seen uh, Jer getting busy with a big stack since he started playing the Rounders After Dark show. He is about to time out on table one. And he checks. And queen on the river, $346 pot. I guess I missed the turn bet. Stack of Jawea with 135 behind. Jer is all in on the river, 135 effective. Stack of Jawea with a decision to make. And then, guys, you know what we get to play. He makes the call. Oh, my goodness. Trip, wow, wow, he timed down. 